Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about why the narcissist is not happier with new supply. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is Narc Survivor. .co.uk. Why the narcissist is not happier with the new supply. The narcissist moved on to another situation and they want to feed this fantasy to you of how they're so much happier with the new supply. But you need to understand the state of things as they actually exist as opposed to an idealistic idea of them because that will help you to deprogram you from the brainwashing by understanding what is actually happening rather than what they want you to believe. Narcissists are opportunists. They exploit circumstances to gain immediate advantage rather than being guided by consistent principles or plans. They just want to put themselves in the best situation for them. The problem is that they get bored very easily. So even when they get something new, it will get old to them after a certain amount of time. And they're not going to learn or correct anything just because they've met a different person. Their mindset is still going to stay the same. The only difference is you're now looking at it as an observer rather than actively participating. And keep in mind that you've already experienced a lot of negative interactions with them to where they were calling you names and making false and damaging statements about you, which may have left a lasting impression. But they're not going to be that way towards the new source. They're going to act charming, welcoming and accommodating. So when you're looking at their social media, you're seeing a different stage in a series of events. You're seeing the first stage, so they're not going to reveal anything bad about the new source. But with time, the narcissist will find the same faults that they allege to be in you. They will find faults with whoever they're with. They will always find something wrong. They will always find something to complain about. Because there is no such thing as perfection. And yet... That is what they expect of whoever they're with. Which is only going to set them up for failure and disappointment. Because at some point they're going to see that this new source is not perfect. Until they come to the same conclusion as they did with you. That you're not worth it and they can do better. It's just the same thing every time. They try to manipulate to the best of their ability. In order to gain an advantage but it never plays out that way because they're trying to form a perfect alliance with another person when that person isn't perfect as well. But they put in so much energy and effort. They give so much attention to this new source to where it appears more attractive and exciting than it actually is. They glamorize it. They make it seem more desirable. They put all of their efforts into this new source because to them, this is going to be their soulmate. This is going to be the one who is the same inside and outside. The one who does not have duplicity in their behavior or dealings. So they're going to do everything they can to make it work. But they're only going to end up being disappointed later on. And it may not happen initially. So they may move in together, they may get married, they may have children, but that doesn't mean that things are going to be different. It doesn't mean that it's going to be more effective. Maybe you wanted to marry them or have children with them, but just because they're doing that with someone else, it doesn't mean it's a better situation. It doesn't mean that at all. It just means that the narcissist is using a different tactic 
a tactic that they didn't use with you in order to make the new source feel comfortable with whatever purpose they have in mind for this particular situation. So it's the exact same journey. They're just taking a different route. Even though this route may be a bit more inconvenient, so they're still doing the same thing that they did with you. They're just using a different strategy, which they have customized especially for this new source. But it's still going to produce the exact same results. You won't see it initially, but eventually it will result in failure. You won't see it that way because you're emotionally invested. So you're still trying to understand how they were able to move on from you and be successful somewhere else. You're seeing it as though you've missed out on a good thing, which may overpower your perception of yourself. Because it's preventing you from thinking logically or reasonably, but it's not going to be any different. You may not have seen how they were before they met you. If you have, it may have given you a deep understanding of who you're actually dealing with because their patterns of behavior do not change and it does not lie about who they are. So if you are able to catch sight of the things they did before you, it should give you a more accurate depiction of who they are because they don't change anything. They only get better at manipulating. So even when it seems they are successful at something, it's not because they became a better person. They just became better at manipulating the situation. But as an observer, you may mistake it as though something changed. You may think that what they were saying was true. As though maybe you were the cause of the issues. But you were not. They just didn't succeed in manipulating you. So they decided to move on because it's better for them to have a new start than to try and convince you that they're different after all of these unfavorable things that have happened between you and them. Because it would be extremely difficult for them to correct all of the things that they've done, which is why it's much easier for them to find someone who doesn't know anything about them. Because then they can adjust their tactics and more skillfully deal with the next person in a way that they can never accomplish with you. So you would just target practice. They will hit the next one 10 times harder because this person knows nothing about them. They don't know what they're capable of, which is why they prefer to move on because it's too much work with you. You're already onto them. And the more you figure them out, the less power and control they will have over you. And they do not want to be in a situation where they're having to fight for power. They would rather jump ship and find the next one. And it's not because the next person is better. It's because they see a better opportunity. They see someone who is more gullible and overtrusting to where they can be easily duped and cheated, which they can't pull with you. Because after all of those years of interacting with them, you figure them out and they know it, which is why they've abandoned you. Because otherwise it would have been a very difficult struggle. It would have made them work harder, which is something they don't have to do because there's so many gullible, unsuspecting victims out there and all they have to do is pretend to be another victim which is why you need to be very cautious around people who claim to be victims. Because there are many people out there who claim to be victims when they were actually the cause of their own problems. Which is why you have to analyze everything in minute detail. Because narcissists are masters at playing the victim. When they were the source of the problem the entire time. And yet most of the time, they move on to the next person as a victim because then it's easier for them to be accepted and most people are not aware of it. So they accept the narcissist as they appear to be rather than studying them more closely. And narcissists love that because in their minds, that's how it's meant to be. 
They don't want to be questioned. They don't want to have to discuss anything with you. They don't want to talk about anything that happened in the past unless they can rewrite it and gaslight you or highlight certain details to make you look bad. This is why they train their victims to be unemotional and to not take anything seriously. Because if there's a heated argument and you're bringing up things that they have done, they will shut down. They will be unable to function properly or they will use word salad where they start making irrelevant points that have nothing to do with what you're questioning them about because they cannot deal with accountability. They can only manipulate people. So if they can't manipulate you, they want nothing to do with you because that is the main reason why a narcissist would be done with you. Once you come at them and you're questioning them in a way that they've never seen before, they know you're onto them and they know you're about to gain an advantage over them until you no longer believe in them or respect them, which then exposes them to danger and they will never remain in a situation that long to where you're able to gain an advantage over them. They will get rid of you. They will move on to a new situation and then they will make your life very difficult so that you lose your determination to fight against them until you lose confidence in who you were and what you thought they were. And then you're ready to dismiss whatever you thought you believed about them and accept them for who they're portraying themselves to be. But maybe they can't get you back in that way again. And if they can't, then they don't want you back because they already know that you've seen too much. They know you know what you're dealing with now. So they move on. But they're going to experience the same situation with whoever they're with. They might take a different route, but it will always lead them to the same destination in the end. And the only reason they moved on is because you were getting really close to exposing who they are. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.